Hey guys, what is up? Mike here. Thanks for tuning in to another video. So in this video, I want to talk about having a business mindset versus a creative mindset as a UX designer. And the main thing that I want to get across in this video is having both. Okay, I will be emphasizing the business side of things, but it's super important to have a strong business foundation combining the nice visual aesthetics and bells and whistles on top of that. And that will only enhance your superpowers as a UX designer and make you that much more valuable in the marketplace. Now, when you think about business versus um, cr more creative, um, a lot of designers sway too heavily towards one side or the other, right? There's rarely a strong um, focus on both. A lot of designers might focus on the business side of things. I kind of, if I had to do an audit of myself, I kind of sway a little bit more heavily on the business side, right? Where you have more of a focus on more analytical, more business focused, dry, not too much aesthetics, not too, much, too many bells and whistles, right? Now, I'm not way too crazy on that side. I'm kind of like more closer to the middle, but a lot of times when I look, when I study designers, they're, they're either way heavily on this side or way heavy on that side. So this side, let's say you have the business side, dry side, just very analytical, kind of robotic, right? On this side over here, you have the visual side, uh, designers that spend too much time on the creative, on the animations and the bells and whistles and things like that, right? So you see a lot of that in the industry as well. And this topic came about because in one of my last videos where I touched on UI design animations, I talked about how I don't spend too much time on UI design and animation, things like that. I focus on the foundational things. And somebody left me a comment saying, hey, uh, I like the fact that I said foundation. Uh, it shows that I'm a seasoned vet as a UI designer. And I like the fact that this person called that out because it's a huge part of my philosophy. I've been this way ever since my early 20s. I've, I've always worked with the sales team. I, If you've watched some of my earlier videos, I talk a lot about landing page conversion optimization. I was heavily huge in that part of the business. And I had to, I have to work hard to come more to the aesthetic side, even to this day. When I see a lot of aesthetics on, on Dribbble and Pinterest and things like that, I'm like, naturally I'm not there. Like I have to push myself to get there. I'm more so on the business side. I want to talk about having a strong business foundation first. Now, what I mean by that, in, for you, my, in my opinion, here's my opinion of what it takes to have a strong business focus in no particular order. Number one, right? Are we making money in no particular order? Okay. Are we making money? Number two, all, it's all about the customer. Are customers able to flow through our website from beginning to end and uh, completing all their key tasks? And what's the general customer feedback of our site? What's their general feeling of our website? And number three, are we utilizing simple, clean, don't make me think aesthetics, right? Simple, clean, don't make me think UI design. And number four is, are there any outstanding existing uh, bugs, right? Are there any existing like bugs that hinders the process and that eliminates conversion, right? So number one, are we making money? That basically tells you, are users converting on our website? Okay. Number two, it's all about the customer. What's their general feedback? Do they not like the site? Are we missing a feature and things like that? Okay. Number three, are we utilizing don't make me think principles, clean, simple UI designs. And number four, it's all about the bugs. If we have tons of bugs, if we have, if, if we have issues in any of these areas, like major issues, then that should be the focus. Okay, that's what I mean when I talk about having a business side and having a foundation. If all these areas are tight, doesn't have to be perfect, but they're tight, we're making money, customer feedback is generally positive, right? Our site's pretty clean and pretty standard. There's there's not that many you know, roadblocks within our site, right? Um, users can go to our site and they can uh, function um, pretty easily and smoothly. And there's limited bugs. At that point, now is when you start adding on and piling on the bells and whistles and the aesthetics, okay? Now you can do that in some form or fashion. It's up, I don't know how 
there's where the gray line is. If you spend too much time on this side first versus this side, it's combining both. That's the important part of it. All right. It's taking an audit of, of how you approach your process and say, hey, am I focused too much on this side and missing the whole point of things, right? Are we not making any money? Like I had an experience not too long ago, a company I worked with last year, and they were talking to me a lot. This, this, this director didn't really know what he was talking about, but he was like, I want these, the moving parts on the, on the, on the, on the, uh, on the landing page, you know, like the, the, the parallax scrolling, right? We kind of got into a little heated debate. I'm like, we have to make money first, right? We, we can move our elements and, and, but we have to make money. Are we hitting the right market? Like we haven't even made a dime yet on, on launching this product and things like that. But we're talking about animation. I'm like, you're focused on the wrong thing. And to this day, I don't even think they made money in this product that we were building because they're touching on the wrong things they're hitting the wrong market. And we had to make some adjustments in the marketplace. That's my point. My point is, are you making money when you're making money? You're solid, customers are happy, things are simple and clean, bugs are limited, add on the bells and whistles because that will only enhance your experience and drive more conversion through your site and build more customer retention and, and, and build more brand awareness with your products. So that's what I mean when it comes to those, those, those things. I, when I think about foundation, I think about like In-N-Out hamburger, In-N-Out burger. Um, very simple, plain menu, burger, fries, and milkshakes, burger, fries, and milkshakes. They solidify that when customers, and then they, when they solidify their recipes and customers love those products, they can now start adding on to things, right? They still keep it very simple, but that's the point. They, they solidify and perfected those simple things. And now you can build on top of it. McDonald's, the Big Mac, hamburger, fries, nuggets. These things have been around milkshake. These things have been around for a gazillion years, right? because McDonald's have perfected that recipe. People eat those things and now they can add par fruit parfaits, salads, you know, all these other bells and whistles on top of their foundational things. They didn't just start with a combination of, you know, so many things. They started with a, uh, a solid foundation first. When I, when I approach a, a, an application, everything is going to be clean, simple. Don't make me think, you know, UI design, like very clean and, and, and friendly. But it's, it has to be simple. Is our MVP, are we converting? Are we able to convert? Are users able to complete their key task you know, without any bugs and things like that? If there are bugs, we gotta fix those things. If we're getting bad feedback, we gotta fix those things. If we're not making money, we're not hitting our mark, we gotta fix those things. We should not be spending time on little, small little bells and whistles if we're still having areas or problem in those areas over here. And it's not about one or the other, it's about having both. Because like I said, if you only have this side, then now you're lacking and somebody's eating your lunch, a competitor is eating your lunch if they're, um, if they're successfully combining both in the marketplace. So it's important to combine both, but having an understanding of both sides. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like things I talk about, hit that thumbs up. If uh, you want to learn more about what I do, if you want to learn the UX design, visit my site, ML Gift Academy. You can get started today for free. In fact, there's a free video on my site where you can watch and learn five things you can do to improve your UX design skills today. Check out that site on YouTube. There's a link up here you know, somewhere. You can click on that and visit my site and get started today. As always, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you have not, hit that notification bell. Be notified. When every time I drop a new video, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a great weekend. Peace.